Welcome to part two of my two-part series, Legion. I gave up on coming up with a subtitle. Last week, I talked about a lot of stuff. So this week, I'm gonna talk about a lot of other stuff. First off, I finally hit level 110. Honestly, the level grind never felt all that grindy. Experience came at a steady pace while questing and leveling never felt overly long. The moment you'd start to question when you're gonna level, you do. It's like it knows. Throw in a couple of dungeons and it felt even faster. My new favorite quest was being the quest giver for a bunch of kobolds. I sent this one to his death. I feel accomplished. And I'm also not sure if I didn't show up as a quest giver to other people in the game, because these two people ran up to me and just stood there. I don't have any quests to give. Shoo. Shoo. I wonder if this is how all NPCs feel. The dungeons at this point have really been nothing special to speak of. The regular versions have been super easy. Almost a little too easy. I can't speak for heroic or mythic yet, but I'll eventually get around to them and hopefully they'll provide a good challenge. Something interesting is that Legion actually requires some dungeons to be completed for certain quest lines. I'm of two minds on this. One, I like it because I feel like MMOs have moved too far away from the multiplayer aspects and have become way too solo oriented. This forces people to partake in the multiplayer aspect of MMOs. Hold on, let me correct that. Silently partake. Seriously, does no one ever talk to each other anymore? Now, on the other hand, I hate being forced to do content like dungeons before I can progress. When doing a dungeon or anything else with other players, you have to put 100% of your focus on what you're doing and make sure you have nothing else to do for roughly 30 to 45 minutes. With three kids, I never have this kind of time except late at night. Which means if I hit a point in my questing during the day where I have to do a dungeon to progress, I am stuck until later that night. Plus, some people just don't like doing dungeons. Why make them suffer? Then again, you are playing an MMO. You could have just played a single-player RPG and not had this problem. You know what? Forget what I just said. I'm fine with it. You chose to play an MMO. Play with others. Something I didn't really talk about last week was class halls. Each class in the game now has its own class hall. It's basically a garrison, except where lots of people congregate rather than you secluding yourself in your own little fortress. Here you can send out your followers on missions, train your troops, and get class quests. It's very Draenor, although your hall upgrades are a little less obvious than upgrades to your garrison. You won't be adding buildings or anything like that. You'll just add perks. They provide small benefits here and there, but nothing too crazy. Except for the chance to get an epic gear upgrade. Yes, one of the upgrades gives you the possibility of that crappy quest reward gear getting an epic upgrade. And you'll always get it when you least want it. One of the best changes in my opinion is world quests. These basically replaced my dailies and are way better. Simply run around the world and they'll pop up for you to do. But if you'd rather not adventure, you can check your map and pick which ones you'd like to do. I pick ones with the rewards that I want. And f*** the rest. Do four world quests for a specific reputation, and you'll get an even bigger reward. I found that this encourages exploration and helps with the overall sense of community. Unlike dailies, which encourages boredom and increases homicidal tendencies in MMO YouTube content creators, namely me. I am a danger to myself and others. Lastly, I know I mentioned this in the previous video, but I do feel the content leveling in Legion is going to help the inevitable content drought. The more I play, the stronger I feel that this will help keep the zones more relevant over a longer period of time. Specifically, Suramar. I am really liking Suramar. Helping build up a new base of operations from scratch has given me a sense of accomplishment I haven't felt since, uh, I got that legendary weapon that was just given to me at the beginning. Easy accomplishments are still accomplishments. Overall, while Legion is a lot of the same Warcraft we've dealt with and played in the past, it's the smaller changes that make the game different enough that it feels fresh. The classes feel tighter, I feel the story is more interesting than it's ever been, the world feels more cohesive, and there's new ways to progress. If there's more expansions like this in the future, then Warcraft could continue to survive for a long time. Let's just hope that Blizzard can bring it through the inevitable content drought. And now, sadly, my time with Legion is done, for that is my curse. I have no time to waste. There are other games that must be looked at, other games that must be made fun of. Hive Leader, hooey! I can't actually fly, I'm just gonna go. Make sure to level up your MMO knowledge by visiting MMORPG.com, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and by following us on social media. To catch up on the week's biggest MMO news, watch our latest MMO FTW. And to see if there's a better MMO out there for you, watch one of our latest First Impressions videos. Thanks for watching.